Welcome back to another Guardian Tales video, fellas. It has been a crazy day. It is Thursday. And yes, I have been hanging out dealing with the uh, the Robin Hood uh, GameStop situation, but I'll talk about that maybe a little bit later. Is this where we're going to get a weapon? Skill me in the face. I'm too fast, baby girl. I'm too fast. Yeah, run from me. He's got his weapon skill up. You can have these boxes, man. I was curious to see if he was gonna fall for it again. Ah, oh, you got me. I didn't think he hit me enough with his first weapon skill to get any chains on me whatsoever, but I, apparently I was wrong. Apparently we were wrong. We're still only at like 100 milliseconds on the ping. Meh. He's got one box ahead of me. He's probably gonna out-trade this, of course. I could have tried to kite around and maybe get, pull off a weapon skill, but yeah, we'll see. Um, typically, I don't do great against marinas anyways. Now, this is pretty bad for me, having a light hero. Um, I've tried to kite future princesses on this map before, and it's been a complete loss just because the speed buff and the range attack and all that good stuff. So, I thought he was going to weapon skill. And, of course, the weapon skill always hits me regardless of if I'm sprinting, juking, changing, cutting, whatever. But we, at least we did a good amount of damage here, so looks like we're going to have a really hard time. This will be a decent opportunity for me to try to get good with Eugene because uh, we have been failing to do that. I'm literally sprinting. None of that should have hit me. And it's all going to come down to who gets the next weapon skill, which is going to be him. What? We still have a hope. We still have a hope. And we have a type advantage against the Beth, but Beth is still terrifying regardless. We could still lose this. Oh, scary, scary, scary stuff. Ah, at least we made it competitive. At least we made it competitive. But yeah, that was pretty scary. The problem I'm having is that my team has a nice 100% melee damage boost, buff boost, and I don't know, I can't decide what I want to say. Um, but since Eugene is so, so glassy, I don't really get to do a lot of melee attacks because I have, I'm kiting and trying to use the speed and the range attack on the weapon the entire time. So I do think this will probably be my last week uh, bothering with Eugene. I don't think it's worth the effort, even though they have um, awesome gear, hopefully um, by the end of this week or in the next two weeks or something. I can't, ooh, you're gonna get that. What, how did that not stun? Insanity. Pure insanity. He's waiting for his weapon skill on baiting. I think we got the chain in there. Okay. We're up two boxes. I think we got the chain. We did some stuff and some things. And then we're going to trade against another Beth. But anyways, what I was saying is I do think in the next week or two, probably two weeks, I'll be able to MLB the Beth weapon. Um, if we look at like the content as a whole, I should probably do Bari first because I use her in a lot more stuff. But hey, I'm doing what I want to do. All right, let's kite a little bit here. I'm playing it like like Eugene, which I should not be. I do think my Beth will will win against him in a heads up. I think he's gonna. I thought he was gonna just try to stand on me because I was low. He did, but I was thinking I could get the stun and the chain off before that happened. So let's see if he's gonna kite. I think he is. If somehow, some way, I do lose with Beth, um, he could kill my Eugene because my Eugene is garbage. The best thing Eugene is doing for me right now, honestly, is just giving melee buff to my other characters. I just can't make Eugene work. Um, the gear on Eugene is almost perfect, as perfect as any RNG gear could be, um, but I've just never had Eugene come through for me. I weapon skill into somebody and I take more damage than I deal. I've tried the hit and run kiting, and honestly, um, in my opinion, I've done pretty decent with that, but um, we're still losing all the trades, so. This will be the last week for Eugene, most likely. I might end up bringing her back at some opportune moment, but there's not a lot of those. And we keep running into the um, same teams like this. You know, Marina's coming in doing Marina things. Uh, 
All right, so literally not a single red number hit me. And then here we go. One, two, maybe three hits. I'm counting it out because I want to see. Let me get the chain. I, I got stunned before I got the chain. Like, how many hits does Marina have to do to get the chain on on you? And then here, we're going to run into the similar situation. Last time, everybody keeps running these same comps. Maybe I should drop Eugene and put in my Marina, even though... Ooh, that was really bad for me. That was real bad for me. Luckily, I got a weapon skill in there, so I kind of evened out the health a little bit, but still, that was an underperformer. And, it's, hmm. and then we have a future princess coming up next. I don't know. Feel free to tell me in the comments what you guys think I could do with Eugene, but, yet, but Eugene is just not performing at all. It's, it's really sad. And, you know, is it just an answer of the power creep? Is it just pure power creep? Because that's what it could be. Good God. He almost lost to um, my type counter with the disadvantage. But, like, theoretically, we could, we could still lose this fight. We get chained once. And then it's just, you know, it's just bad times. Wait, look at that. We took a lot of damage on that. One proc of the hit. Look at that. He had like 20% to start and he got me to 50%. And I had a one box advantage. I didn't kite great on that one. I was just kind of mentally psyched out for the future princess uh, weapon skill. I just don't know. You just can't keep up. Also, um, let it be known that... Uh, my Beth, before my Beth had any weapon upgrades, had a higher DPS than my Eugene with maxed weapon. Like, so if we want to talk um, power creep and stuff like that. My Beth had higher... Um, a higher DPS on the stat sheet without any weapon upgrades than my Eugene with full upgrades on the weapon. So, blatant, blatant power creep. I mean, I, I definitely enjoy Beth a ton, and I would, ha I would not have done MLB on the Eugene weapon, except for I got like three Eugene weapons from 100 gems. And so I was like, well, well you know, okay, two more. If I put two more hammers in there, then I've got an MLB weapon. And I was like, all the extra damage and um, the extra 10% on the attack, it's got to do something, right? But... I don't know, not so much. So let's be a warning to um, anybody else thinking of focusing on Eugene. Um, I don't know if I would, if I could, could go back and get those two hammers back. If I would, if I would still, um, if I would try to like undo it, you know what I mean? If I could take the two hammers out of the Eugene weapon, would I put it somewhere else? I probably would. I probably would. I don't know. But we're getting green hammers um, at a very quick rate these days. I didn't kite this very well. And then we just throw our weapon skill off into the distance. I thought that I, my character would see him coming in and be like, hey, what's up there? Didn't do any damage. Nah, not a real good play by me on that one. But I was thinking, if I throw the weapon and he runs in, then you run into it. Um, I've had zero success kiting a Nari with Future Princess on a small map like this. So we're just going to try to get as much damage as we possibly can. Get him to half. That's kind of okay when that's your type counter. And then here we have the advantage. And I intentionally put my team as light, dark, light for this reason. In case you run into something like that. And Garam is definitely very scary. Very scary. But Beth is also very scary. I mean, check that out. Check that out. A Garam completely eight. And like I said, we could we could basically lose any fight. Like look at that. That's insanity. Where's my weapon skill? We almost lost that. I guarantee he is not MLB weapon. We're in Diamond One, you don't run into a ton of those. We almost lost that and he's not MLB on the weapon. I would almost guarantee that. So 
R.I.P. Eugene, man. I've seen some people use her to a good effect, but I kind of feel like some people are only posting the videos where those kind of things happen. So, not a complaint. I just want to give my as thorough as possible opinion. Um, Eugene is still somewhat useful in PvE. Fun to play um, in PvE, but, I mean, usually you're just using Bari for every single thing on the planet. Um, not good when you're not controlling the character in PvE, like uh, Coliseum. She just runs in first. Um, she's supposed to target like backline, so that kind of on paper sounds good for Colosseum and stuff. But in Colosseum, all your melee characters clump up and then Bari just AoEs them all down and you lose. So you don't see Beth in Colosseum. And then in Camazone, when you're fighting difficult PvE opponents, uh, Beth just jumps in, dies instantly. Not, not Beth, um, Eugene just jumps in, dies instantly. Same thing with the Orbital Tower. Um, she's been zero use in the Orbital Tower. Um, the Light Horizon Tower had some use, nice to have on the team, but really Future Princess was the song and dance there. So, Eugene, you've had your moment in the meta. You've had your moment. Uh, I'm probably still going to finish out the week this way, but I guess I'm just going to go back to Ogma, Future Princess, and Beth. I kind of didn't want to run that this week because I assumed that I was going to run into more of the Gabriels, but I think support heroes are just less popular. But um, if I have two dark heroes in the team, I think it's going to be very difficult to deal with Gabe. So we'll see. We'll see. I'm in good spirits and all that. Um, that does wrap up today. We're getting super duper close to finishing off. Um, what are we finishing off? The, the Guardian Tower thing, I kind of stopped paying attention to it, and the next thing I know, we're at like 290, 280, what are we at? 294. I don't know how that happened. Maybe we got some of the cards, I don't know. So we're almost there. Um, by my calculations, this is going to give us an extra 20 to 40k gold per, um, per day for free. That might sound good. Um, it's really not. That's basically the equivalent of 10 extra coffee. Which, 10 extra coffee every day, if you want to look at big numbers, you're talking about, you know, each month. It does add up, but the amount of effort and grind it takes to get this thing to 300, um, I would expect a lot more. Like, at least 100k gold, if not more. Because 100k gold is kind of like 15 magic medals. So, underwhelming there. Obviously, the attack stats and the bonuses and all that stuff's great. But, um, hey, I'm, I'd rather have it than not have it, I guess. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? We did all the new story stuff. I didn't really talk about it. Super fun. Um, they give you half the story, then later on they give you the other half. Um, I'm assuming they're doing that for development reasons because things take time. So I'd rather them give us half and then we wait and then we get the other half than us waiting an extra long time. So I got no problems with that. But we do need to get back into the Tower of Horizon. I'm putting it off. And, hmm, I think I need to take Beth out of the training room to put in either Tinia or to put in Aleph, which obviously I don't want to do, but we'll see. Um, maybe I'm just going to wait until I have like 2 million gold, and then I might have enough currency to do the Awakening on Beth. Unfortunately, I don't know why they chose to do this, but unfortunately, details, um, you can't look at the awakening. Oh, yeah, because it's all completely unlocked, um, and my Beth is obviously not. You can't look at the awakening when your hero is in the training room, so you can't really calculate very easily how much currency you need, how much do you have, etc., etc., but whatever. So I think I might have to take her out and put somebody else in. And so, I don't know, we'll figure it out. But things are going well. Um, hopefully, I'll be grabbing another hammer soon. Like I said, it'll go into the Beth weapon. Two more hammers, bang, bang, she's MLB. Then Beth is even more freakishly terrifying. And then Bari's next on the list. And then after that, it goes to either Nari or depends on if the meta shifts or something like that. Um, obviously I like Future, Future Princess a lot, and I do have the Eugene out of the way, so, um, there, there might be a chance if I really like Gabe when I get Gabe, because I don't have Gabe yet, um, maybe I will 
MLB the Gabe weapon, then I could have possibly a full, full light team ready to go. I don't know. Anyways, that is the situation. Um, you know, let's move that down a little bit. Let's move that there. We did grab the limit breaking hammer first, and all my yellow hammers are going to go into Ogma's ring. Um, he went up a significant amount of defense with this. And um, all my battle medals are going to be saved to go to Minotaur Shields, like I've been talking about. Although, the battle medals will be used for special option change stones in the future. I'll talk about that more as I get closer to the game. But I'll grab the hammer, I'll grab the yellow box, and then I will try to grab as much mileage as possible, depending on how, many, how much currency we get out of this whole thing. Anyways, as always, appreciate y'all for watching. I really, really, really want to hear some opinions on Eugene. Is, do you love Eugene and I'm totally wrong? Do you hate Eugene and I'm absolutely right? What do you think? Am I just playing it horribly? I don't know. Like I'm, I'm dancing around with speed, using my range attack just to kind of keep my speed buff going. And then I try to come in with the weapon skills. If I stand and trade, I just die instantly. So I'm almost to the point where they need to rework Eugene's stats and just increase it. Because you have no defense, you have no offense. It's just, ugh, I don't know. I don't know, fellas, so give me, give me some knowledges. But I'm going to go back to fighting the stock market. I'm pretty sure you guys know what I'm talking about, just depending on when this video gets posted. But I'm going to go back to battling it out. Yes, I'm on the front lines. Yes, you should be there too. No, that's not financial advice. But uh, this is going to be the biggest story of the year. And uh, now is the time. Now is our moment. So as always, I appreciate you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.